Hey guys, it's Marco again, and today we'll check out the new rogue runes for phase 3 of SOD and discuss new poisons and our spot in the raid. Let's start with helm runes. Combat potency. You have a 20% chance to gain 15 energy every time you deal melee damage with your offhand weapon. This is a good rune in my opinion, and this will make fast raw hands even stronger than they were. It's always good to have additional sources of energy restoration, and this will definitely increase our DPS nicely. This rune will be the best one in solo content and PvP. Honor Among Thieves When any player in your party, so just you and your party, not the whole raid, critically hits with a spell or ability, you gain a common point on your current target. This effect cannot occur more than once every second. This is the best helm rune of the phase if you have a good party composition, meaning you need to have a lot of classes with spam abilities. This rune will increase the amount of our finishers by a lot, and I'm looking forward to playing with it in the raid. Focused attacks. You gain 2 energy every time you deal a melee or range critical strike. Previous two helm runes were good, but sadly this rune is garbage. 2 energy for a critical strike is way too low. In a 1 minute encounter you will regenerate 80 energy thanks to this rune and that's just way too low. We also got 3 bracer runes. Carnage. Your abilities deal 20% increased damage to targets afflicted by one of your bleed effects. Currently this is the best DPS rune for the raid and it will actually make the raw gameplay a bit more spicy. If we go with this rune, we'll have to maintain slice and dice, expose armor and rupture on the target. Saber Slash is still behind in damage compared to Mutilate unless they buff it, so we'll have to use Rupture or Garrett to activate this rune. However, if this is too much managing for you, don't worry, we have cut to the chase. Your Eviscerate and Envenom abilities refresh either your Slice and Dice or your Blade Dance duration to its 5 comma point maximum. If both are active, only the one with the shortest remaining duration will be refreshed. This will simplify raw gameplay even further and you will only need to activate one low common point slice and dice and just use in Venom for the rest of the encounter. This rune should do a bit less damage than Carnage, but it's great if you just want to relax and DPS. Unfair Advantage Whenever you dodge an attack you gain an unfair advantage, striking back for 100% of your main hand weapon's damage. This cannot occur more than once per second. This rune sounds fun and it's actually going to be usable. It's great for tanking and it's by far the best rune for solo content and PvP. Those are all the new runes. And we have three new data mine poisons. Atrophic, Numbing and Sebaceous. However, they all require level 60 so they might be made for phase 4 and not for phase 3. Atrophic and numbing poisons are honestly whatever, and I doubt that numbing will work on the bosses to begin with, so I don't really see a usage for them. And lastly, Sebaceous Poison reduces armor, and it scales with improved exposed armor talent. It still offers the same armor reduction as exposed armor, and the biggest problem is that we lose instant poison from Deadly Brew, which will cost us a lot more DPS than casting exposed armor. So as of current point, I think that this poison might only see use if there are fights with multiple targets or a ton of adds so immediately apply the armor reduction without the need to stack combo points on the target. Another way to use this poison is to have a weapon swap, so whenever you apply the poison, just swap to another dagger without a poison. That requires getting two of the best offhand daggers and quite a bit of managing, but it's still an option. Lastly, we have to talk about our spot in the raid. Sunken Temple will be a 20 man raid and you will see only one rogue per raid if we aren't on top of the DPS meter. Blizzard still didn't give us any value other than our DPS. But finally, at level 50, our exposed armor with the improved exposed armor talent will reduce more armor than a priest, which in return will increase physical damage on the target by about 3%, and because of that reason there will always be a slot open for a rogue, also known as exposed armor bot. However, I have to say that I'm hopeful for the rogue DPS seeing these runes. There's also the fact that we will no longer have reduced physical and nature damage, which was a plague on many of the Gnomregan bosses. Make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you got to this part of the video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.